What's up guys? I'm Ray Sid and this is Life is Easy. So guys, today we have the Model 3 Tesla. I wanted to go over a couple of things that I personally love about the Tesla Model 3. So guys, this car here is one of my favorite cars. It's probably the king of the electric cars. And this is just a few basic things that I would think are selling points for me if I was buying a Model 3. So these five things are really my favorite parts of the Model 3, the things that I use all the time, and kind of where the big advantages lie in the Model 3 by itself. I know a lot of electric cars in general have advantages over gasoline cars, but the Model 3 is the king of electric cars, and this car puts a smack down on everything else. And here's a couple of reasons why. All right, guys, so first thing is just no gas stations. So we're out, it's a beautiful day. We've been driving around a little bit, kind of playing with the car, seeing, again, what the things are that we love about the car. And you can really drive the car so aggressively because there's no gas. So depending on your charging situation, you may be a free charging or very cheap charging. A lot of times I'll see this car charge for just a couple dollars. That advantage is hard to really like tell you guys about now. When you have a car that takes almost no money to fill up, you're gonna drive more. The lifestyle is just so different with an electric car. I've started to notice that from driving an electric car, I'm willing to drive wherever. I'm willing to go there, go back, do whatever because it doesn't really cost me anything. Especially with summer prices, I was just looking at prices are through the roof. And as the summer starts to come around, that's when I want to drive more. So one of the really cool things about an electric car is just no gas stations. I don't have to go there. I don't have to get up in the morning and, oh my gosh, I'm late to work. Let me run to the gas station. There's none of that. With an electric car, you're literally just getting in the car. Hopefully every morning the car is filled up because you can charge at home. And you can just drive the car however. You don't really have to worry about fuel consumption quite as much. It's so nice to be able to just hop in your car have it ready to go, drive it however you want, and not worry that, oh my gosh, I'm killing 50 bucks here, 50 bucks there, 50 bucks here. That is a huge savings that you get driving the Model 3. All right, guys, so one more thing I love about the Model 3 is just the styling. The car looks pretty good to me. I know for a while I used to be like, eh, the cars look that good, and honestly, I do think that the 2021s look a lot better. I love they got rid of the chrome. If you look at the Model S, the chrome, to me, is what makes the car look old. When I look at the back of the Model S, that little chrome piece in the back, is really what makes it look old. But when I'm here, like the Model 3 looks pretty damn good. One thing you guys are seeing here though, is these wheels. These are actually the aero wheels, but they have the cover off the aero wheel. So that's what's underneath your aero wheels. If you ever take them off, you can get the little Tesla center caps and it's a pretty solid wheel that they have underneath the aero wheel right there. That's something that I don't personally love this wheel over the aero wheel but a lot of people like it. Literally, we'd be at delivery, guys would just pop that off immediately and leave their car from the lot with those off. So I get it. Uh, you guys are seeing the silver car right here. So silver is discontinued. I know a lot of people like that silver look, the silver car. They don't have that anymore. I think it looks pretty cool, especially with the black accents of the tent and all of that. But it is what it is, you know, that's the colors they have. It was a lot easier to produce with those colors. But honestly, I like how the car looks. I love how the car looks. And I think the 2021s are your best bet if you want the best styling for the Model 3. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys, and go over a few other things I like about the car. And just kind of enjoy our day with the Model 3. All right, guys. So one more thing that I love about the Tesla Model 3 is just what a pleasure this car is to drive. Every time I get in this car, I just remember how good it is to be behind the wheel. You know, the i3 is a car that I love. It has a lot of great acceleration. It has a lot of, a lot of the good features of the Tesla that car has. And they, and in my opinion, it has it at a better price point for in the used market. But the Model 3 puts all that stuff together way better. The one foot driving, the one foot braking where you let off the gas, it's great in stop and go traffic. You'll use it all the time. I know at first it's kind of weird. In my i3 video, I told you guys, I, honestly, when I looked at the i3, I hated it. I was like, there's, there's no way that I want to have my car slowing down to a stop if I let off the gas pedal. 
it's great you'll use it all the time it makes driving way more relaxed the model 3 is so linear the power delivery is so linear not having a transmission at first again feels a little bit weird you're like oh man there's no transmission on the car you know i'm used to boom the gears banging you know when i stomp on it something about not having that transmission having that one just gear that one long gear it, it's smooth it's smooth guys if when i was at tesla one of the biggest ways we would convince people to buy a tesla we just let you test drive the car you know if you're on the edge and you're, oh, i don't know you know what's up with those cars are they any good do i really want a tesla blah 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 you know just test drive the car all you have to do is test drive the car and you'll understand why gas cars feel like they're in the stone age if you're in an internal combustion engine and, and you've driven one of these it's just going to feel like that's cars in the stone age i'm just being honest with you guys so definitely check out the tesla model 3 one of the best features and one of the main reasons i would grab this car is just what a pleasure this car is to drive all right guys the next thing i want to bring up is just how good the navigation system is on here you know for a ton of cars i i know like you know everyone has a new navigation now the navigation is a lot better than they used to be even in the late you know 2015 2016 I don't know about you guys, but I never use my navigation system on my BMW. I know there's, you know, from the BMW app, I can throw my navigation to the car or whatever the case is. They all suck. They all suck. One reason why Tesla's really dope is this iPad like interface in the middle. I know it's not an iPad. I know Tesla people get mad. Elon would get mad. This is as responsive as an iPad, and that's the industry standard. So I'm going to call it an iPad. This interface is so good. In every other car, I you know, I go to navigate, boom, I type in where I want to go, and it's already done. Very simple. When I'm in the BMW, I'm playing with this scroll wheel. Now it's touch screen, and it's just not as good of a touch screen as this. And this is so big and clear on the street, and it's a, it's a map that I'm used to. I know some people like Waze or stuff over Google Maps, but guess what, guys? Google Maps is something that we're all used to. We've all seen it before. And this is powered by Google Maps. So one thing that I really start to see with the with the Tesla is just how familiar this interface is. It touches like the iPad. And guess what? Most of us have iPhones, so we're very used to that. This interface is very familiar. The navigation looks very familiar. It's the first car that I've really seen where it makes me like... I don't think I actually need to use my phone. I can do everything on here. I can control my music on here. I can do everything on the screen of the car and not have to sit here playing with my phone while I'm driving. So they did a great job with this touchscreen interface. It looks great. The navigation screen is just amazing. Like I said, very familiar. I'm really impressed with what they did with the screen here. I like the integration a lot better, obviously, in the new Model S and X, the Plaids and all, you know, the uh, 2021s. It's integrated a little bit better. The first thing people always say when they get in here is, is the screen supposed to be like that or did you put that in? You know, for people who don't know. It it does stick out a little bit, but you know, I, I, I think it's great. One, one other thing that Elon realized was that if cars are driving themselves and we're having more time in the cars and we're, you know, using autopilot, this is gonna be our entertainment, like, you know, console right here. So this is gonna be somewhere where maybe we're doing emails at some point, you know, he's bringing app developers in to work on the car so we're having app developers who are developing games who are developing just software that we're going to want to use on the car and i think that is going to be a big a big place that's coming up that we notice you know as we're starting to come into the future here there's going to be a lot more software geared toward you in the car because if you're not driving in the car guess what guys you don't need to just sit here and play music you're going to want to get stuff done so the productivity software this looks like this is going to be a car that will last us for 10 years. In 10 years, I can look at this car and say, you know what? I can still use this. When you look at a lot of these other cars, I don't know. I think they're going to look really old really soon. All right. So obviously, you can't make a five things I love about a Tesla video without one of the most obvious features, and that's Tesla Autopilot. So Tesla Autopilot, it's gotten a lot better. I worked for Tesla about two years ago, and it was very good then. I had no issues with it. I know we'd have some scary test drives where you'd be in the car with someone and you're like, okay, are you sure you're ready to do autopilot? But honestly, now it's really good. So you look up as long as there's lines on the road and your seatbelt's on, blah, blah, blah. 
I just click the gear selector down twice and the car is in autopilot. So currently the car is driving itself. I'm completely hands off. This is really for highway use. I know we're hearing these stories well, oh, someone crashed on like a back road or wherever they were, or even just a regular side street. For right now, autopilot is the king of highway usage. So you get in on the highway and it will handle everything. It'll accelerate, it'll slow down, it'll steer, it'll stay in the lane. And one intelligent thing that Elon did was he made sure that on the screen of the car, you're able to see exactly what the car sees. So autopilot doesn't just work in the background like a lot of these companies do. It shows you exactly what's going on. So right here, autopilot just asked me to grab the wheel. So the Tesla safety feature they use with autopilot is that you have to grab the wheel. Cadillac has the one where you have to look forward and you have to sit like this the whole time. I like to grab the wheel. Notice most of the time here, I have no hand on the wheel. I can lay my seat back, boom, and just relax. It's a much more relaxing ride with autopilot. I, again, stop and go traffic is the best. If you're in stop and go traffic, throw that autopilot on, and it just takes a lot of the mental energy out of driving. The car is handling it for myself. I have trucks next to me, I have cars next to me, and guess what? It sees everything and it's able to adjust and handle a lot of the thinking of driving for me. So if you're a Tesla owner, I gotta admit, this is one of the most amazing features that I've ever seen in a car. They were the pioneer of this. I know the S-Class Mercedes had it, but Tesla did a really, really good job with the autopilot system on this car. And that is definitely one of my favorite features that I've ever seen on any car, but definitely my favorite feature of the Tesla Model 3. One more thing, they actually made the autopilot standard now. So when I worked there, you had to buy autopilot. Some people would buy Teslas without autopilot. I thought that was crazy, it blew my mind. But now it's a standard feature. So there is a full self-driving that's a little bit higher. That one will see the traffic lights and all this stuff. That one looks amazing. But everyone has the basic autopilot where I can sit in the car, talk to you guys, do this, and the car is controlling everything for me. So autopilot is definitely one of the best features of the Tesla Model 3. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out of autopilot and head back to the house. I got one more thing to tell you guys about and that should pretty much sum up the things I love about the Tesla Model 3. Again, I, I really love driving this car, man. Like, it's, it's really a solid car. I know it's not solid in the sense of like BMW Mercedes where it feels like, oh, the build quality of this car is really solid. This car just is all around great. Like if there's an overall like score, I think the Model 3 probably beats most cars overall. Like if you're talking about, oh, is there a car that's more luxurious? Is there a car that maybe has better steering feel? Is there, okay, cars beat the Model 3 in certain areas, but in the overall category, man, I, I don't think there's a lot of cars that are gonna be able to see the Model 3. Well guys, I'm a fat boy and we didn't head back home, but we are going to get food. And I'll give you the last feature that I love about the Tesla Model 3 while I'm getting some food here. So, what feature I love is the over-the-air updates. I'm gonna tell you guys, every other car company's copied a lot of Tesla features and you're starting to see, you know, these features integrated to other car companies, but they just don't quite have it right because a lot of times I feel like they don't understand why Elon implemented the things that he implemented. Over-the-air updates are amazing. So if I look at the screen here, it's kind of funny because I, I realized that even though I'm someone who spent a lot of time with the Model 3, I was literally working at Tesla when the Model 3 was first released. So we, all, most of my training, most of the stuff I knew was on the Model 3. That was like my number one thing. You know, we were selling 300 cars a day, delivering 300 cars a day, and they were Model 3s. This interface here is almost unrecognizable from that interface. Yes, things are very similar, I know, down here at the bottom, even the climate control and all this stuff here. I know that's all very similar. But over here, it's very different. Even like, there used to be a T at the top that said Tesla, you could click it and it would give you all your information on the car. All of that stuff is moved for me. The entertainment down here, this is all moved. So, one thing that Elon does is he's able to update these cars over the air and almost completely change the interface. A lot of older cars get new features, a lot of newer cars get updated. Nothing is really old in the Tesla lineup as a result of that, especially if you have the screen turned this way. I know some of the vertical screens, people are a little bit worried that 
those cars there might not get some of the over there updates that the newer cars are getting because now everything is horizontal in the newer uh, model s and x so as a result of that people i think are a little bit afraid that maybe some of the vertical screens won't get the same love that the horizontal screens are getting but for right now pretty much all the cars that are like you know newer teslas you know i'd say 2017 2018 or newer they literally all are able to be updated exactly the same so as you get in the car the car gets newer i'll tell you this with my bmws i've never gotten the bmw and i'm like oh wow this is completely different from last time i no, it's not ever like that so one cool thing about the tesla is the over there updates allow you to always get a new car it's literally like you just wake up in the morning and you have a new car i think that's really cool even one of the little uh, easter eggs that elon did when i was first there is we didn't know that the tesla model 3 had rear heated seats all of a sudden there was over there update and look boom you had heated seats on the rear of your car so i don't know any other car companies doing that but those over the air updates are super dope and i honestly think it's something really unique that tesla brought to the car industry the automotive industry and now everyone is going to have to kind of work with that it's so stupid to have to bring your car in and have we're going to change the software if to plug it in and blah 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 he just shoots the update to you over the air way better love that one of my favorite features guys the tesla model 3 again is the king of electric cars it's one of the best electric cars on the market if you guys are looking at getting an electric car please check out the model 3 please test drive the model 3 i know there are some cheaper options you know i really am a big fan of the i3 obviously i own one but guys the model 3 is a really great car they put everything together exactly how we wanted them to put it together i know some of the build quality is a little bit you know okay feels a little bit cheap but let me tell you guys all around overall this is one of the best cars on the market and you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't spend some time with this car i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe i'm going to try and do a comparison between this car and the 2021 model 3 and just try to bring you guys some more content a little bit more often here guys so please subscribe like leave me some comments let me know what you want what you want to hear tell me how i say tesla instead of tesla peace